Shalom. Allah start out by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kagadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Citations to the whole fillet. This pushing is truth across the four corners of truth, save charity. All right, it's the brother Amma um, 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 One Abad from the Birmingham camp at Bound GMS. Um, just going to, this is going to be a quick sit down. This we're going to about. How two thirds of so called Negro, Negro, Latino natives, how the Lord, Yahweh, we are our people, um, we are called the Most High God. He has a name, and the name of the Most High is Yahweh, the Father, and the Son, who y'all people call Jesus. Real name in Hebrew tongue is Yahweh, that's the Son's name. But two thirds of the Israel, so called Negro, Latino natives, Israelites. Y'all y'all don't have the name. <clears throat> y'all keep calling on Jesus. The Lord's not gonna hit that in these times, you know, in the times of Jacob's trouble. You know, uh, um, uh, Buddha or uh, uh Muhammad, whoever y'all you Jakes are subscribed to as far as like philosophies or you know, whatever you believe in, but if you don't believe in this real truth of the Bible, the King James Bible and the men of, of the Lord from the Apostle Elders on down, Great Millstone is telling you it's teaching you truth. Of this word of the Lord through the spirit of Yahweh, you know, telling you that you're an Israelite and come back to your power and come back to the real names of, of your powers. But you hard headed Israelites don't want to accept it, want don't want don't want to believe it. You still want to hold on to the name of Jesus or whatever. You, you like I said, well, you ascribe to Muhammad, Buddha, whatever. You Jakes, you so called Negro, Latin, and Israelites that know that you're Israelites or. Or well, you don't know, whatever. But two thirds of the nation of Israel, Israelites, is gonna, gonna get the judgment from the Lord, you know, in these times, you know, the times of Jacob's trouble and great tribulation to come, <clears throat> you know. Uh, so, cause we just in the beginning stages of the times of Jacob's trouble and, and uh, the great tribulation to uh, unfold upon the people here in America, Babylon the Great, you know, in the world, you know. But I'm getting into it. It's judge is on uh, Judges ten and fourteen. Go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So the Lord, Yahweh, Lord, Lord, saying, hey, you know, hey, go cry out to the, you know, guys that you you have chosen. You know, your idols, whoever you two thirds, you two thirds, you so called Negro, like the you Israelites, you call on, you know, Jesus or whatever it may be, Buddha, Muhammad, Allah, you know, whatever it may be, whoever you worship, but that's not the true power. <laughs> those those. Those powers are don't have no um they ain't they ain't gonna save you. You can call on them all you want, but in time of your tribulation, in time of your trouble, in time of Jacob's trouble, the Lord, you call on those names, it's not gonna deliver you in the, in those times, you know. Yeah. Even if you do have a name, you have a shot. Kind of was way back some years ago, this dude was running from the cops, you know, he's calling on Yahweh Shah, but <laughs> that didn't deliver him, you know. You know, with that, you know, you gotta have wisdom too. You gotta have wisdom too to navigate through the through these times to come and through America, Babylon the Great. You know, you gotta have the knowledge of the scriptures. You know, you gotta have the understanding of the Lord. You know, of the Bible. You know, the King James Bible. We just can't <coughs> have the name Yahweh Shai and then you you not <coughs> not using wisdom of the Bible. That you know, in that situation, the dude running from the cops, he should have just uh uh. Took heed to the, uh, <clears throat> took heed to, you know, just, hey, you know, uh, not running from the cops, you know, the uh, scripture says, you know, hey, uh, you know, uh, respect the, the authority of power, you know, don't, you know, do nothing, you know, go crazy or whatever, uh, apply, <clears throat> you know, apply to what they saying, you know, and, you know, just whatever happens from there, hey, you know, but, but like I say, in the times to come, you got to have the wisdom of the scriptures of the, of the Bible, you know, of the Lord, you know, and you got to have, a, you know, it's it's good to have a brotherhood that, you know, you have brothers in the camp or, you know, you were a camp or you got brothers that that's in the truth and this faith of yours. You, know, you got to have, a you know, counsel or of, of, of the word to understand how to navigate, you know, counsel. That's another thing. Two thirds of so-called Negro Latino natives is like had they counsel, but they counsel in the wrong uh, in the wrong way. You know, they counsel in, you know, <laughs> that, you know, they think that the Lord is all love and they don't know the times of trouble. They, they don't understand why these things are happening around them, why 
the cops are killing and shooting them, shooting the so-called Negro Latino natives down, or whatever it may be, you know. But like I said, the elect do, <clears throat> the elect of Israel is like have the knowledge of the Lord, you know. And, and me myself, you know, call Halal Yahweh Shai, all praise to the Lord that hey, He bestowed this truth upon me. You know, that's mercy, man, to know that hey, you <laughs> got this knowledge and you know the name and you know you know what's to come and you know you. Ain't like two thirds out here just don't know what's going on, bugged out and lost. You know they don't they don't understand why these things are going on. But the comfort that the elect have of the so-called Negro, Latino natives, the Israelites, and hopefully I am part of that righteous. I'm you know I'm in you know I'm doing the will of the Lord, doing the work, but to remain, but but to, to have the knowledge, you know what's going on. Hey, it's mercy and great, and and, and to it's mercy and, and to be grateful that you have the truth of the Lord and the Lord. You know, reveal his his knowledge and truth on, unto you, you know, and then not take for granted, you know, you know. But um, but I'm go f- um from there, from there, I'm going to Michael three and four. Um, then shall they cry unto the Lord, Yahweh But he would not hear them; he would even hide his face from them at that time, as they had behaved themselves ill and they doing. So yeah, <laughs> they're gonna cry unto the Lord. But the Lord is not going to hear them. Like I said, the Lord, Yahweh, Lord, Yahweh, Shai. It's not going to hear two-thirds of the so-called Negro, Latino, Nato. So the Israelites cries, man, in these times, man. You know, even the Israelite women that cry when, you know, situations go down, the Lord ain't going to hear them either, you know. Because most of the two-thirds are going to be women, you know, because there's more women than men, you know. So, um... I'm saying it's like a lot, you know, so a lot of women gonna get judgment, you know, in these times coming, you know, uh, it's only a small number, only a, a small few number of women really gonna be delivered, you know, in the times of Jacob's trouble, you know, then and they then they hopefully, you know, they run, you better hopefully run to a man of the Lord, you know, <laughs> you know, it's the only way you're gonna be protecting in these times, man, you're gonna have to be part of, it. you're gonna have to. You gonna have to find a man that's a part of that, that uh, righteous man. That's part of that righteous number, man. It's part of the elect number. Cause if you don't, man, you could have a the baddest guy, thug, whatever guy you have. But in, in these times, cause he gonna fold. Cause really, it's all about the Lord. Y'all about some having the spirit upon. He gonna have the spirit. He gonna have the spirit upon his his chosen his chosen men. In those days, to be bold and you know, fish in the spirit, man. You know, to not be afraid and nothing, man, and to have faith and and you know and and, and uh, proclaim the name and uh, 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 proclaim his name and <clears throat> you know not be afraid, <clears throat> be bold, you know, you know saying his name and in those times of trouble, you know, praising him, you know, call upon the name, you know, and, and faith and truth, you know, believe and not doubt, you know, when things do come about, when things do come about, you know. But it's gonna be it's gonna be made known it's gonna be made known in this in in these times going forward that who the Lord <clears throat> who the Lord Yahweh is really dealing with. And I said first and foremost, man, a great millstone. But <clears throat> like you know, it's all about the elect. You know, you know you could be in great millstone, but hey, you gotta be. You better hope that you're part of that righteous number though. You know, a great millstone GMS. You know, it's just a title, but you know, but it's all about if you're part of that um hundred for the four thousand. You know. That righteous number, man, to be uh protected and delivered in the, in these times, man, to come. You know, and the Lord's not going. The Lord's going to hide His face from two thirds of the nation, nation Israel, Israelites. And what's that face of the Lord? It's knowledge, and the knowledge is being presented to, pre- presented to you by <clears throat> the apostles, elders, and the brethren of Great Millstone. This teaching the word through, through the Spirit, power, Yahweh, Shem, Shai, on the internet, on the highways and byways. You know, it's going to be a uh, like those. Like I said, the famine, the famine on the word is coming. You know, it's eventually gonna come, and you know, they're gonna the internet gonna probably be taking off YouTube, gonna be taking off maybe or you know, shut down. It, I don't know how it could go. Everything's with the Lord, you know, time, you know, and I don't know how ways and by ways we might not be out there because the troops, the martial law troops could be stationed around about each corner, you know, <clears throat> through the cities, whatever it may be, and brothers are not gonna be able to probably go. Go out to certain parts of the city because it's gonna be restricted. Can't go here. Can't go there. Block. Gonna be this part of of the, of the uh, side of this town. Gonna be blocked off. Military gonna block this off. So those these those these times are coming, man. It's gonna be some serious times, man. So 
Um, that's why I said the Lord gonna have his face, you know, and because two thirds, you gonna have his face from two thirds of the Negro, Latino, Native Israelites, because they're gonna be trying to find where those guys that said this and that. They're gonna try to find <clears throat> the men of the Lord, great men of great millstone, but you ain't gonna find them. It's gonna be too late. You ain't gonna find, you know what I'm saying? You gonna find the men, you know, you ain't gonna find me, the brothers out on highways and byways that's been telling you what's to come, <clears throat> prophesying them to warning you, you know. Telling you what's to come, giving you lessons, you know. That's gonna be done away with soon, man. You know, Lord's getting he's not he's getting tired. He's he's getting frustrated to the point where Lord, you know, he can you know, he's gonna put his hand back. Let's say that he's gonna put his hand back. You know. It's eventually he's gonna he, he, his, his hand stretching out still, you know, but eventually he's gonna pull it back and it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be it's gonna be too late for you to try to get his knowledge and repent. And to believe in this truth of the Lord, Yah Basham Shah, the King James Bible, you know. But um, let me see. I didn't want to make it too long. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna end it off in Isaiah 65 and 11. But the next I'm gonna end it off in 12. But I'm gonna start off in uh verse 11, Isaiah 65 and 11. But ye are they that, but ye are they that forsook the Lord, that forgot my holy mount, <clears throat> that prepared the truth for. That prepare a table for their troop, and that first that drink offering unto their number. So two thirds, two thirds, two thirds of so-called Negro Latino Native Israelites, you forsaking the Lord, forgot his holy mountain. You know, you <clears throat> didn't consider the man of the Lord and how it was in by ways. You didn't take this truth serious, but the man of the Lord is telling you, or you fell out where it may be. The Lord got you a uh, number unto the uh, troops, man, unto the martial law troops. And Lord, Lord, like I said, Lord, y'all about to try to control everything. The Lord knows who's, you know, the angels, you know, they, 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 they two thirds are marked for death, and the, the one third, the 144,000, the elect is exempt from, you know, getting uh, uh, caught up, you know, in these times to come. You know, the Lord's gonna deliver, the Lord's gonna have mercy. It, it's gonna be made known. Like I say, gonna, the Lord's gonna say, it's gonna, be, gonna be made known who my chosen when these martial law troops. When these martial law troops, these uh, UN troops start coming down hard, man, on these streets, man, coming down your house, coming in your houses, coming down these streets, you know, knocking your head off, whatever. If you ain't in a compliance, they don't care. <clears throat> they tell you one time, if you don't listen, gonna bash your head in, man. They ain't gonna play, man. <laughs> these are times we coming in, so it's gonna be some horrific times coming for, for Israel, the Israelites, nation of Israel. The white scripture says it's gonna be a time that since since it was a nation, it's gonna be a horrible time, man. It's, it's gonna be a horrific time. Man. It's gonna be some sad, sad times, man. Real, uh, <clears throat> real, real, real heavy judgments that the Lord, His anger, His fist anger, His fist anger be, is gonna be na be made known on the house the two thirds of, of the so called Negro Latino natives, man. The Lord said, "I start, Lord, uh, Lord, y'all about to shy. He said, "I will start in my house, man." You know, and then you know, Esau, he eat him, he ain't gonna get away as well, you know, because the Lord gonna get these devils, you know, he gonna get Esau, man, you know. And Lord, and Lord, cause the Lord, yeah, about show on. He's a man of war. He wants, he wants to go to war with these devils, you know, cause you know why um Trump, you know, trying to uh, do the space force, whatever, you know, cause he know these devils know that the Lord is on his way, you know, you know they can feel it. They see all these chariots, so called UFOs in the sky being reported, you know. But you know we, we are heading to those times. But the next verse, Isaiah six five and twelve. But this is not only the beginning of Jacob's trouble. It's gonna get worse. As we go forward, it's, man, but Isaiah 65 and 12, Therefore will I number you to the sword, you shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and and, and did truth that wherein I delighted not. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, the so Lord said, I'm going gonna, gonna to know you to the sword, you know, but the sword going to be by the martial arts troops, or the guillotine, you know, you're going to bow down, you're going to bow down to the guillotine, and you're going to they gonna throw you, in, uh, throw you in a concentration camp, wherever, they, whatever they, wherever it may be, you know, because these concentration, these concentration camps could be a build, a, a empty building somewhere, you know, whatever it may be, you know, in your cities, you know, you know, and, and necessarily gotta be. I'm not saying it ain't Walmart, but I said concentration camp it could be like an empty building somewhere. They could just take you. Drag you and, you know, put you in a guillotine, man, you know. And that's going to be made known in these times, you know. And the Lord, you know, 
Because when the Lord spake, you know, spake his word, you know, when the Lord, and how he spake his word by the men of the Lord, uh, the apostles and, and the men of Great Millstone, telling you what's to come. You didn't hear, you didn't repent, you didn't take heed. So, you know, you kept doing wickedness in the sight of the Lord's eyes, and the Lord knows who who, who did did what and did not uh, believe and, and, and subscribe unto this truth. Then the Lord, Yahweh Shosha, is going to bring uh, heavy judgment upon you. You know, uh, upon you soon to come, you know, in these times of Jacob's trouble, you know, you're not going to be exempt from the Lord's wrath. Only the elect of the so-called Negro, Latino natives, I'm going to be exempt from the Lord's wrath to, um, to come. So with that, you know, I ain't want to make this too long, you know, and I just want to go into this. So, again, like all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Kakadash, to the apostles, the elders. To the Sisaki and brothers, to the few Aqua sisters, sisters that do listen, keep the faith in Yahweh. Keep fighting with that. Say Shalom.